Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Dragon Quest 9! We are now officially in the post-game content here, and there's a lot of stuff we can do. Now there's a very specific set of things I want to show off, which is actually a lot. And I'm doing this in a very specific order. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to Stornway. Now, I'd like to point out, since now we're in the post-game content, uh, it will not happen immediately, but soon enough, there will be cheating. I do have a save editor, so that way I don't have to sit here and grind my levels like crazy and sit here for 300 hours doing that, so I am going to be cheating. So, be prepared for that. Now nah, I didn't want to go in the image store way, I'm a dummy. I want to go over this way. The weapon shop, I'm just so used to going to the, uh, the, the, the inn every time I go to Stormway. Alright, and now we have two people here. See, this is like all the old stuff that was here when we originally were here. But now, since we have defeated the final boss, we have someone new in the shop. And we can buy a whole lot more new equipment. Yeah. And I'll just go through quickly what it is. I'm, not, I'm only going to buy one... Actually, I'm not going to buy anything from the weapon shop. But, um... The armor shop, I am going to buy something from. And you'll understand why later. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay. I'm going to open the blue chest here. Oh, look, a chimera wing. Like, I'm ever going to use one of those again. Oh, big yawn. And the same case is in here that there is also a extra piece of armor shop in here in Stairway. Uh, the one thing I am going to buy is a silver shield. Yeah. Actually, I need to show off the weapons and, well, the, you know, the armor and stuff there. So. The silver shield is, is uh, expensive. I know I can alchemize one. I'm not doing alchemy just yet. And I know I just spent like a bunch of my money, but that is okay. Because soon enough, I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money. Although I have an alternate method. That will be easier. And plus I have a save editor on my side, so yeah. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we are going to start questing! Now, like I said, I, there's a very specific order I'm doing these quests in. And the first one you should do, as soon as you hit the post-game content, is this one right here. Let's pay a visit to little Jonah, shall we? Hi! See, now she has a quest available. Yes, that is me. Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing with the whole daddy died and being Leviathan thing and the mayor trying to take you in and trying to take advantage of your good hospitality? Yeah, how's that doing? Okay. Ooh, a huge shadow. What is it? Ooh, the real Leviathan as opposed to the fake one that was your daddy. Let's accept this quest. Yay! A spirit, huh? So let's check it out. And oddly enough, um, even though we're not a Celestrian anymore, this doesn't affect our ability to see ghosts. I'm uh, not sure why, but uh, we need to go to the inn. The inn is over here. That's the church, you dummy. So we need to make it nightfall. And the fastest way to do that is just to sleep until evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I know what to do here. Oh, fine. I guess I have to talk to you from the other side of the desk, huh? Alright, fine. Um, uh, good lady, can I... Thank you. 
impressed. I was gonna say, I'm like, shut up and let me sleep in your inn. That's what you're in business for. Oh, and they switch shifts. How sweet. Alright. And now we have a ghost lady here. Hi, how are you doing, madam? I hope you're, pay you're paying good attention to the kitty here. No, that's not true. You have very good information. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we need to get an outfit! Yay! This is why I bought the silver shield. So let's attract him! And actually, do we need to talk to Jonah again right now? While well, I'm right here. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I found something out. Let's tell her what we need. Yep. We need to get a bunch of clothing. Okay, alright, fine. We'll get them for you. Yeah, see, uh, even if you already have the equipment, you need to actually talk to her. Where she tells you she's been waiting. Alright, I'm gonna see... Um... Do I have the wand already? Because there's a chance I... Might. Um, sorry. No, I do not. Okay. Because it is a drop from a monster, so... And I don't have the flowing dress anymore, either, do I? Well, not... Well, assuming I had one in the first place, that is. Um... Sorry, concentrating. No, I don't. Okay. But we can buy those items, so... We need to go to here first. I know the watermelon wand is, is dropped by, um... One of the cobra snake creature thingies in, uh, the blowhole. So... Wasn't sure if I found one before. And there's another grotto monster that drops one as well, because in my console file I have like a eight of them. Alright. Right here. Yeah, and we want to equip it? Yes. And trashy poo. No. I don't need your help with anything else. Now zoom, and we want to go to one more creek. You know, the place that was kind of jerks to foreigners, but they decided we were A-OK, -okay, so... Let's pay them a visit. Well, actually, let's buy their goods and, uh... Help support their economy, shall we? Because that's always a good idea. Well, assuming you have the money to do so. Don't spend money that's not yours, folks. It's not cool. Not cool. Hello there, good lady. Can I please have a flowing dress? For my beautiful Josh? Alright, here. <laughs> I, like, barely have enough money. Yes! I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter who you equip the, um, the stuff on. Because I think in my console file, I didn't change vocations to equip the, the wand. So obviously warriors can't equip those, but, like, uh... Mages and sages and priests can. What am I doing? I'm on a warp! Oh, I didn't mean to go to Angel Falls. I hit the button too many times because the game was lagging. I can't tell me how many times I've done that. I almost wish you could rearrange your town list. I put freaking Stormway at the top. Because I've done that so many times. It's accidentally stuck Angel Falls. Is it morning? No, okay, it's still night. Yeah, she went to the cliffs. Yep, I did that. I totally did that. Alright, so before you go all the way to the cliff, um, make sure you actually have been told that she went up to the cliff. Because the very first time I did this, like on my console file, um, I didn't. Because the guy that was using it didn't have that step to do that. So... What am I doing? These creatures are gonna run for me. 
So I went all the way up there, only to have to go all the way back, and then back up there again. Which was a little bit annoying. Alright, so get in there. Hopefully most of the monsters will run from me. If I can remember my place lay through this place, that would be a miracle and a half. It's, I don't like this place. I do not like it, Sam. I am. It's kind of mazy. I'm sure that. All right, no, we need, no, we need to go back toward the entrance on this level. See, some of the entrances you just gotta go all the way around the room, and sometimes you gotta go to the opposite side of the room, and yeah. Now I need to go down over here. This is where I need to go. Where are the monsters? I mean, not that I want to be interrupted by a bunch of fights, but it's rather quiet in here. Nah. Good sir, will you please go away? I don't feel like fighting you. Thank you. Can't remember if this is a dead end or... Yeah, it is. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing in my way. Let's go up to go right back down. Oh, I'm behind a lot this morning. Okay, I think we need to go through here. I'm going to ignore that blue chest. Yeah, okay, this is the way we need to go. Alright, the lack of monsters in here right now is incredibly creepy. So I'd like to point that out. Well, there's finally one there. Finally one there. Oh, this actually didn't take long to go through there. Let's read the sign! Hi! You might want to put that sign, like, on the bottom. I heal yes, I'm healed up. Okay. Hello there, Jonah. How are you doing? How would you look so pretty? Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, it doesn't matter which character you equip him on. Just make sure you put him on. Obviously, since I conveniently have a mage, I can do that. But a priest will... Uh, actually, I think you need to be female, too. You know, I didn't even think of that till now. Because I don't think you can equip the flowing dress on a male. Do Jenny be the one who does the praying? Because I'm the one, holy crap, who is wearing the stuff. Even though I'm, it's my, my right now invisible character. And look, the real Leviathan looks suspiciously like the fake Leviathan. Uh oh, is he going to eat me and take me to the land of the summons? Is he? Is he? Oh, you know, I've had enough of Leviathan lately. You know, I've already had to fight him in this game, and I had to fight him three times in Final Fantasy IV because I had issues with recording that day. Ugh. But that is either neither here nor there. Obviously, he is stronger than he was last time. Yeah. Well, because he is a post-game boss, so... Not quite on par with the, uh, well, actually, no, probably just about on par as the late game bosses. Because you can only access his boss in the post game anyway, so you've already beaten them. And unlike the previous Leviathan, this one does attack twice per turn. Because you remember, the first Leviathan was one of the few bosses who only attacked once per turn because he had such high HP. Well, comparatively to other bosses at that point, anyway. And as you can see, he hits a hit uh, pretty hard, decently hard here, so... You know, I should probably oomph John first, so he only gets one um, oomph free turn, but that's either here or there. I have the much better chance of surviving anyway, so... Ow! That was not nice, good sir. Oh, that is balls! That is total and total balls, good sir. Ah, oh, who has it though? All right, hold on, hold on. Who's got it? Who's got it? I have it. All right, the only one I have, but I got it. Um. 
Um, what is he weak to? Uh, I'm just gonna do that. Now I only have one Iggy Leaf. Eh, that did good enough damage. But I need Jake back. Cause he's my only... Don't kill anybody! Damn it! Alright, Josh can stay dead. Sorry, Josh. Yay! And we return to life, which is totally awesome. And we need to multi-heal ourselves. And pray he doesn't get a turn. Oh, at least he's gonna kill John and not me. But, oh well. Always picking on the poor Canadian, aren't we? Always, always, always. Haha, <laughs> you just wasted a turn. You suck good, sir. Of course, Josh isn't gonna get any experience from this fight, but that's okay. We're gonna be cheating anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much in the grand scheme of things. Like how he just like roars and he hits us. He's probably gonna be dead soon. Nope, not yet, not yet. This round ought to kill him. Yeah, choir. There we go. I was gonna say choir Rangels isn't gonna heal me as much as I need to. And he actually disappears. Yeah, like no other boss does that. Yay, we leveled up. And what we want to spend? Of course, we know what we want to spend our skill points on. Yes. And we get one of those. Dude, beached whale, uh, environmental societies, places are gonna have a fit over here. Come on, save the whales, save the whales, save the whales. C c can we at least drag him back out to sea? Even if he's dead, can we have a proper funeral for him? Okay, he's alive. Now, can I go to the land of summons, please? I, I, I know it's situated in hell, but it seems like a really fun place to be. Oh, so he was just brainwashed. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, okay. Th th this guy is really scary looking, alright? Oh, what is he looking for her for? You're not my daddy. And he, poo well, pukes out something shiny. Okay. Oh, isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. But can, can you just bring my daddy back? I mean, I know you don't have the power to lift the dead, but that would be really cool. Excuse me, where is my reward for this thing? And Jonah puts it in her pocket. Hi! Um, did you forget something? And he's gonna puke us up a fig! Well, at least he didn't poop it out like everyone else did. Ooh, it just seems important. Well, at least he didn't actually eat the shiny fruit. We're just gonna assume because he has no hands and therefore no opposable thumbs that he just uses his mouth as a form of, a uh, uh, item transportation. Like, he uses it like almost like an elephant's trunk, but without the whole 600 muscles inside it and basically an extra arm kind of thing. Well, it's not the same golden fruit, and now it is huge. And Jonah is the smart one, and not only does not eat the shiny golden fruit, but gives it to the person who, well, deserves to have the shiny golden fruit and knows exactly what shiny golden fruit powers, and in fact has eaten previously a shiny golden fruit. And how many times can I say shiny golden fruit in this episode? Yep. I don't look anything like you! Uh, I, I know what she means, metaphorically, but... Oh... So we both have shiny objects. We're like kitty cats. We love them. 
And she's going to walk back through the mustard field cave. Would you like a Camaro wing, madam? It might be a little bit safer for you that way. And we take her helmet off. Yes, they're shiny golden fruits. Eat it, yes. And we glow! That is a creepy thing to look at as soon as you finish eating a shiny golden fruit. Well, even if you answer no, that still confirms I know you're there. She's been following me around the whole time. Probably. Yep. Did you also shout stupid things that we already knew? Ah, well. Stella's not a bad person. She just... Well, or fairy as the case may be. She just kind of tends to be an airhead. And your wings are, like, floating through your body. You might want to get that checked out. Okay, how are we going to get there, though? You going to warp me magically to the blue tree or something? Or I just get carried up here or something? It hasn't been that long. I only defeated the boss, like, a half an hour ago. Well, as of, like, game time, anyway. Well, no, technically, no, it's been, it's been at least a day, because I had to spend the night. Yep. And my wish is not going to be in any way twisted like everyone else's was. Nor is my wish to be mortal. Probably because, you know, I was already Celestrian, so therefore not susceptible to its mind-altering powers or whatever the hell, but... Yeah, she was kind of a bitch about that. Yeah, he's going to let us drive the train. We have no engineering degree or anything like that whatsoever. So. And he explains about the grottos and crap like that. Alright. How do I know how to fly this thing? Is it just part of, like, Celestri- Ooh, he gives us a little whistle. I love how it's, like, exactly the same as, like, the in-game sprite. Like, it's not, like, rendered, like, 3D like the important characters are. I love that. It's, like, rendered, like, like the same crappy 2D as all the uh, the NPC characters in cutscenes like this. I just find that hilarious. I mean, I know it's to save on memory and, you know, less programming and things like that, but it still doesn't stop it from being hilarious. Yes, we do not need the blue trees anymore. Even though there was only a whole two of them. Yes, the world is indeed now our oyster! Yeah, she is- oh great. The woman who- very thing who crashed our train into the tree the first chance she got because Fat Guts wasn't here is going to teach us how to drive this thing. Everyone hide your children. Yeah, 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 we know, we know, we know. We just get off the ship, train, whatever, and let me drive it. This would literally have us let us access everything in the overworld, including a bunch of places that are uh, that while we could access by ship, um, this will give us access to everywhere, including some uh, cliffs that are only accessible by the Starflight Express. So first thing you want to do is move Sterling's whistle wherever it is in your inventory to the top of your main character's inventory because you're going to be using this darn thing a lot and the faster you can access it, the better. So that way when you can open up your items menu, you just have to like hit like the, the A button like three times and there you go. So let's drive this thing around. Alright. Now this thing drives kind of weird. Um, obviously if you hit the directional pad, um, the ship will turn until you're in that direction. So if I'm hitting up right now, I'm um, still holding up. Since we're 90 degrees facing up, we stop. So obviously this thing kind of has a wide turning range, which can be kind of annoying. So sometimes when you want to land, there's a perfect spot to show off. Since this cliff is inaccessible before, you just hit the A button over desired spot. Uh, the target is about like the middle of the front car, so watch the shadow of that. Um, and as you disembark, you can just hit yes. And see, now we're up on this little cliff here. I'm not going to do anything while on this cliff just yet, but if you can see in the world map, you know, it's entirely surrounded by mountains, so we could not be here earlier. Now I want to do 
See, we smacked the A button a few times. No! Oh, damn it. It's because I had it on, uh... It stays by default on transfer until you move it, so there we go. The only annoying thing is that you have to read the dialogue and be subjected to this little flying up to it animation the whole time. Now, if you hit B, you can switch to the inside. We won't ever need to do that um, until a couple quests much later that are involved inside the Starflight Express. Uh, if you choose not to disembark, you can head for the Realm of the Almighty instead. Uh, if you actually talk to Celestria there, she'll actually recreate the Realm of the Mighty for you, so if there's anything you missed there, or you just want to go back and defeat some of those monsters and everything, you can do that. Uh, you actually can fight Corvus again and again and again. So, if there's a different strategy you want to try, or you want to see his other attacks, which I probably will try, I'll probably, like, show another fight and defend, like, the whole time to show some of his nasty, nasty, nasty attacks, because when I fought him, that was a push armor. That was probably the easiest fight, like, ever. So, showing, just showing off some points of interest here. That's Coffin Well over there. This little tower over here, which is surrounded by mountains, is the Tower of Nod. You know what? I'll keep going for a little while. Just a few minutes. And, sorry, not paying attention to my map here. This little cliff right here that I just passed, I'm going to circle back around because you cannot stop this thing. So the cliff right here, right above Angel Falls, is known as Slime Hill. And slime monsters, and only slime monsters, will spawn here, including metal slimes, metal medleys, and liquid metal slimes. Uh, metal slime kings only spawn in grottos and rarely in the Tower of Nod, so... And they kind of hide like that, too, especially the smaller ones. So, I mean, you get... Regular slimes, um, who, as far as I know, can and will um, combine. You get like cure slimes, you get like heal slimes, and they actually killed. I just got John killed by a slime. That is the most pathetic thing I have ever done in this entire game. That's probably the most pathetic done I've ever done in an LP. And I've, I've, I've posted a lot of them. Mostly just because I'm not paying attention and I really don't care right now, so. I'm just showing off. I should probably put John's, uh, Josh's regular equipment back on, but that's okay. That's alright. I still got two characters that are completely... Um, good in the health department, so... So what you can do is just kind of circle around here. And obviously smaller ones are hiding. Like there's one hiding right there. Uh, there is a trick to always get a liquid metal slime to appear, um, but I'm not very good at that, and it requires you having good maps, like treasure maps, to abuse the random number generate. I see this like king slimes over here, but the, the first three forms of metal slime do show up here. Let me see if I can just find one. Yeah, I just like go around in circles for a while. If you go in, in, and, in and out of the cave, you can kind of reset the spawn a little bit, but it's not guaranteed, so... There's certain spots where these guys show up. Come on, give me a metal slime here. There's one right there, there we go. Of course, yeah, and you'll see them in groups. So... Yeah, why not waste a Thunder Thrust? Now, of course, a bunch of them are always going to run, but um, since there's a bunch of them, they, they appear in mass, and you actually can see more than one kind of slime together, and they'll, they will appear with other monsters as well. But now, since you have multiple spawn of them, you can probably get at least one or two of them killed before they start running away. Which is pretty awesome. So... Let's just see how many we can get killed here. Just out of curiosity, I know there's an, they're going to give crap for EXP, so... No, oh, you dodged that. I love how I have just the coffin just sitting there in the middle of the battlefield. Yeah, see, they're they're not running as often. But since they're not as much of a guaranteed spawn, I, I still stay unless you have a metal slime, a liquid metal slime, or a king slime uh, grotto map. Um, stick to the boho. 
Seriously, you're you're much better off that way. Long run, anyway. Of course, getting said maps is not an easy task. But if you go to conventions, you're likely to have be handed one by somebody, because uh, people at conventions are pretty cool about that. Yeah, see, John has been dead the whole battle, so he doesn't get anything. So yeah, this episode has gone on long enough. Um, we're killing it will. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, there's another metal slime. There's the liquid metal one! Alright, see, that's awesome.